<coughs> Good morning, everybody. Keith here. Um, wanted to talk to everybody today because it's uh, coming to my attention again. Um, people want to. Oops. People wanting to uh, hop in on my posts and try to put out their bullshit about uh, this vehicle shit. Trying to tell me uh, information that I put out is false or bullshit or, or not right in regards to automobiles and vehicles. And one thing I want people to understand, when the state claims some kind of possessive title of a motor vehicle, what they're doing is trying to get you to define the use of your own private automobile. So I want to get something very clear. Does it come from a vehicle manufacturer or an automobile manufacturer? And then when you go to the car lot, is it called a vehicle salesman who is trying to sell you a vehicle on a vehicle at a vehicle dealership? Or is it an automobile salesman selling you an automobile at an automobile dealership? Think about it, people. The only thing that says it's a vehicle is a fraudulent document, just like the birth certificate, that makes a false claim. That false claim comes from the manufacturer who is blatantly and forever since the day of its inception when automobiles were invented and clarified that they are automobile manufacturers and they put out a nice little document called a manufacturer's certificate of origin whom lawyers have gotten a hold of to specifically word and use the word vehicle. Now, what the word vehicle does is it, dis is it defines its use. And if you want to let the state continue calling it a motor vehicle, then you are letting the state call it a motor vehicle. But in return, all you have to do to rebut the state's presumption, when you buy an automobile, particularly with cash, and you get that bill of sale, you take it right down to the county recorder, not the clerk of court, the county recorder. And you get a copy, and you file that with the county recorder. You file a copy with the county recorder. And then, make sure you get a file number for it. And then you draw up your own notice of consumer good. Defining by their own statute, codes, rules, and regulations that it is a private automobile and not a motor vehicle by its use, its intended use and purpose by the purchaser who purchased it in a private sale and under UCC commercial goods and therefore not subject to motor vehicle or traffic codes. So when you want to come onto my post and sit there and say, and try to convince people that everybody has a motor vehicle, bullshit. Everybody's been convinced that the automobile manufacturer who, who put that automobile out on the roadway at a dealership, automobile dealership and a salesman at that automobile dealership has all of a sudden de defined it as a motor vehicle? That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Call them on their bullshit. That's all you got to do. Call them on their bullshit. It is not a motor vehicle unless it is being used for transportation purposes, which is a commercial act for compensation committed on the public roadways. So if you are not involved in trafficking persons or goods on the public roadways for compensation which is taxable then you are not driving you are traveling your own private automobile 
as it was defined by an automobile manufacturer and sold by an automobile dealership through an automobile salesman. So quit coming on in my posts and telling people, oh, you all own a motor vehicle. You define yourself just like you define your children, just like you define your property. What's proper to you, that is your property. Proper T-Y, to you. Proper to you. Remember that, that, folks. Don't let other people define you. Don't let other people define what you do. Don't let other people define where you're at. Don't let other people define why you are the way you are. That's up to you. So remember, when it's put out by an automobile dealer or, or automobile manufacturer and then sold at an automobile dealership through an automobile salesman, don't let the state try to define it as a motor vehicle because you're not using it as a motor vehicle. This is a simple concept, people. And if you get it straight, you'll understand. File that bill of sale with the county recorder and then include it as an exhibit in a notice of consumer good rebutting the vehicle bullshit. Let them know that you are not using it to perform commerce on the public roadway. You use it for your own private use, whether it be business or personal. Understand that one, people. Whether it be business or personal. So when you're using it for business, you're not being compensated or you're, you're not getting paid, you're not being employed, you may be getting compensated, but you can do that through barter and trade. You can do, if you get your shit and act together and do things right, you can get, you can make your own trust certificates. What are trust certificates? That's how you create money. When you think about the people are the ones that create money, how do you think Ben Franklin did it when back in his day? He just went to his printing press and printed up his own fucking money. They are called trust certificates and they are derived off of the property in your trust as backing for that certificate. Just like gold through the uh, um, United States continental dollars were, were uh, backing the, that money. You can back your own money with your own property called trust certificates. So get out of this cognitive bullshit and quit letting other people define you. Yes, Jason, you can put a guarantee on a piece of shit, but it'll still be a piece of shit even if you call it a turd. Exactly. So anyway, understand that, people. Quit letting other people define your shit. <laughs> So go ahead and do your research, like I said before, many times and always will. Don't believe me. I'm just putting information out there that you can check on. So do your own research and understand the terms and words and, and conditions that they're using against you. So when you get that MCO that says Manufacturer Certificate of Origin and it's defining it as a vehicle, how can that be? It came from an automobile de manufacturer. What they're doing is defining its use. Don't let them define their use. Get rid of that MCO. It's no good. It's invalid. You're spending good money to go get that MCO because you think it's so important. But look on the top of it. It says vehicle. The term of a vehicle means that you are using it for pay on the public roadways to transport goods or persons. And if you're not doing that, then don't let them define it as a vehicle. So again, like I said, get up, get your bill of sale when you purchase that automobile. Particularly like, a, like I did when I bought my truck. Bought it at a private sale. <coughs> through a private sale from an individual. And then I had that bill of sale drawn up. But I never titled it and I never registered it. So when I got pulled over... They hauled me to Dale, hauled the truck to the impound. Told me I wouldn't get it back unless I titled, registered, and insured it. So think, people. Think. I went straight back to the guy I bought it from. Hey, can you go down to the, to the uh, impound lot and repo that truck? Sure. I got my truck back without paying a fucking dime. Don't let them define you. Period. 
Use your fucking heads. There's all kinds of ways to defeat these people, and the best way to do it is to rebut their bullshit. Quit letting them define you. It's not a motor vehicle. They define it as a motor vehicle. It, but it came from an automobile manufacturer, went to an automobile dealership, and then some salesman sold it as an automobile. Understand this stuff, people. Get over it. Anyway, I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you guys. God bless you. Love you. That's all I got. Have a good day.